Hello everyone, Triple S back here with some more Sakura Santa. Now, I feel I look better than the last time I recorded, which I did the entirety of Itsumi's story, I guess you could say. I feel so much better. So, let's carry on with the game and let's go through Santa's options and get the Santa ending. It's going to be really weird if someone listens in from outside my room that I'm talking about Santa and getting with Santa and Santa's story, but whatever. Da 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 So, oh, and this, we have to read this for the third time. Last time, though. So every day that you have a cue going, of course, on your floor, even less after you've been talking about the magic teleportation, even way it shows on the open once in my lifetime. But still, Santa's a great figure. I like it even more when there's nothing in the way of you. Only a couple of Christmas decorations right around the chest is much different when you use that outfit though. Why don't you barely wear anything at all? I like it is that a girl that innocent would choose her same as clothes. Maybe someone else put her outfit for her. If so, it would have been someone in the class family. And again, I can figure too. Who knew Fox has such magnificent chests? Though that's not what I was looking at the other day. Those pants were a perfect frame for her thighs. But her behind looks lovely too. It seems a great figure too. As a girl that flag has such big boobs, which is just a late bloomer. People get confused for a boy middle school, but I doubt anyone thinks of it now. The world should just change. It's much enough to think all day. I should do something productive. Not that I think it isn't, but I have better things to do. And today already seems like a great day. Okay, so, we did Akinas, then we did the Sumis, now we're doing Santa. So, see if Santa shows up again. Maybe I'll wait to see if Santa shows up again. She did say she'd be dropping by someday. Still, I don't know when that will be. Don't think Santa Claus owns a phone. Still, what if I wait the entire day she doesn't turn up? That would be depressing. Just then, a sharp knock comes from the door. Hello, Koji. I used the door just like you asked. Didn't you get lost along the way, did you? Not at all. See, you should have more faith in yourself. It's not that hard. You're right. So, I was wondering, are you free today? Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to show. So, you were thinking of me? I'm so happy. There's something I want to do, Koji. What's that? I want to see what it's like to go Christmas shopping. It's like getting crushed by the crowds, mostly. Well, I'll take you if you want. Sure. I'd like that, Koji. I've heard it's very exciting. Everyone wanders around looking for presents. Isn't it just the sweetest time of year? It's the most wonderful time of year. Yeah, I guess it is. It's pretty busy, though. You can easily get lost in the crowd. I'm sure that I won't. You said I should have more faith. I have some, whatever, faith in myself, right? Right, if you want to go shopping, then we should go as early as possible. It's even more crowded later in the day. I see. Still, it'll be fun, I'm sure. After all, I'll be with you the entire time. I can't handle the sweetness. An entire gingerbread house, frosting and all, still wouldn't have as much sweetness as Santa. Alright, shall I show you the way then? Yes, please. I reach for her hand. Koji? Why are we holding hands? I know you said you won't get lost, but I want to make sure. Hold on to my hand and there's no chance, right? I, I see. If you don't like it, we don't have to. No, it's uh, fine. I'm more than happy to hold your hand, Koji. Okay, Santa, I'm glad. See, it's going to be so weird if someone listens in. I'm holding Santa's hand and she's like, oh. But, yeah. Holding hands with a cute girl. It's certainly something I can enjoy, regardless of why. Uh, anyway, shall we go? I can feel a grip tighten. Sure. So hand in hand we go out on the town. The entire time Santa looks around with curiosity as all the sparkling decorations and peers into seemingly every storefront. So people buy their own decorations instead of making them? Yeah, usually. Not everyone can make things like you can. Guess that's why the Claus family is here. So we can make uh, things to bring joy to others. That's a nice thought. That reminds me, by the way, we need to think of a way for you to keep your wand safe. Oh, I just had a flash of one of the like teaser images for uh, this, and uh, uh, I think I know where that where that wand is going. And yeah, can you shrink it? Do you have somewhere to put it? Not really. Second like thought, that's a silly question. What she wears barely counts as clothes in the first place. I can see. Well, I can see she certainly doesn't have any pockets or bags. Wait, it has a hook on it. So you thought of something? Maybe. Have I? Can I do that to her? Any idea is a good idea. Especially if I lost my wand again and you weren't there. Christmas here would be ruined. 
That's the thing I'm most scared of. Oh God, look at those teeth. That'll screw up and Christmas won't happen. Hey, relax. Nothing like that is going to happen. If it does, then just come see me and we'll sort it out, okay? I appreciate that, Koji. Her clumsiness seems to really bother her. I don't know what I would do to help. Still, I'd do whatever I could. If you dwell at it going wrong all the time, it probably will. Happy thoughts, right? Yeah, happy thoughts. I'm Santa, after all. Good girls and boys are relying on me to deliver them Christmas joy. So I'll do my best for all of them. That's the spirit. The spirit of Christmas. Anyway, where would you like to go, Koji? I don't know. There's a lot of shops. Yep. Can we avoid the one we showed up in last time? You mean the lingerie store we teleported into? You, you didn't have to say it. I was nervous. That's fine. We just won't go there. Thank you. Your attention slowly sweeps over downtown. They know how to get to the Christmas spirit here. Do you like this every year, Koji? I don't know, this is the first year I've spent here. Do you like this town, Koji? How many times are you going to say Koji? Maybe I would like it more if I had friends, I think. Hey, no problem. I'm here with you, after all. You won't be alone this Christmas, I promise. She squeezes my hand tightly. Thank you, Santa. I feel really weird calling her that. The first thing that springs to mind for that name is a fat man with a white beard. She isn't that anywhere near that. So, why don't you tell me more about your family, Santa? What would you like to know? How about your dad? He's nice and warm and jolly. He's a bit big, though, and has a white beard. So he looks like the Santa show almost everywhere? Yep, people love him, don't you think? It's a little sad that you don't get credit, though. Credit for one of us is credit for all of us. Because all of us are Santa Claus, after all. I see, I see. Guess it doesn't matter if it's a team effort. Well, family effort. So, how do you pick what, what what Santa goes where, or which Santa goes where, I don't know. We just decide where we want to go. I liked this place, so it's where I decided to stay. Do you ever go back home to the North Pole? Of course, it's not Christmas without our family dinner, you know. Naturally, Santa will celebrate Christmas herself. Christmas is about family, warmth from joy. North Pole is my home. It will always be the warmest place in the world for me. She closes her eyes and lets go of a happy sigh. Maybe you could come for our Christmas dinner, Koji. Christmas dinner, huh? Uh, was I thinking out loud? Yep, you were. J just forget that. She's glowing like Rudolph's shiny red nose. I'm not going to forget this. Having Christmas dinner with the Claus family. I'd get to meet the big guy himself. Although being with this cute girl while doing that... That would be nice. She's so innocent and pure as we'd be expected of a member of the Claus family. Ah. I wonder what it would be like if we were married. By the way, what was that about me not losing my candy cane? Where do you think I could keep it? I suppose I should tell her. The inner demons have won today. No point in beating around the bush. <sighs> what if you put it between your breasts? Um, uh, b b b b breasts? My chest? Yep, you'd always feel it, so you wouldn't lose track. I've heard of a lot of girls hiding stuff there. It, is that so? Guess it's worth a try. Ah, there you go. Then she squeezes the candy cane in between her two massive breasts. Yeah, I can keep track of it like this. If I hold these together, it will never escape. Don't think that would work. Not to mention that this looks more lewd than I imagined. So you don't think I should try? Uh, maybe. Just keep doing it and we'll see if it works. Okay. She stands there rubbing her breasts against the cane. You're giving me a funny look, Koji. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I mean, she peers down the length of the wand. I know where it is, but this doesn't feel right, Koji. You don't have to push them together. Uh, okay. So let's go. Release her breast spill into their natural cleavage. They press together nicely, securing the candy cane perfectly between them. It's too big. Oh, God almighty. Don't you think, Koji? It won't fit in there. The candy cane almost seems like it's melting. As it rubs against the skin, I can see a shimmer of stickiness along its surface. 
starts to cut her chest, giving it a slick sheen. It feels so wrong, Koji. But it was your idea, so I don't mind. You wouldn't feel so... Every step causes the chest to bounce subtly around the cane. Securely squeezing and nudging up and down. Why doesn't this feel right? Are you meant to put things between them, Koji? Not usually. I don't like it. She cups her breast and lifts slight, slightly. The cane starts to slide between them. Now I'm all sticky here. Even when I know where it will be, this feels so, so very wrong. Then why don't you stop? Because it was a suggestion from Koji and I want to try. Even if it feels wrong, I have to do what you ask. Ugh. Look, you don't have to. I'm starting to feel guilty. It seems like she's instinctively averse to lewd things. Though she keeps stumbling into them by accident. Oh god, it's gone. I had a lot of fun today. Sanja seems like she enjoyed herself too. Well, Koji, thank you for today. Don't worry about it, it was fun. I want to give you something. She gingerly takes my hands and presses something into my palm. I hold it up. A uh, snow globe? It's special. When I peer deeper into its swirling snow... This your workshop? Yep. Shake the globe three times to think about Christmas. That way you'll, you'll be able to visit me whenever you want. But it's your workshop. Are you sure you're okay with just dropping by whenever? It's fine if it's Koji. You're special. Anyway, can I come home with you? Absolutely. If only it were that easy. <sighs> she chills behind me, shy this time, and carefully avoiding getting cl too close. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Can't really believe it myself, but I walk side by side back to my apartment with St. Nick. Though I guess she's not really the St. Nicholas everyone would think of. Uh, now she's sitting on my couch looking up at me. I just remembered. I want to ask you something, Koji. Ask away. How are you feeling? Better. Not so lonely now. Must be a bit upsetting to you that you won't be seeing your family this Christmas. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. They had other plans. <laughs> Pardon me. Still, it's a shame. Yeah, I'm glad you're here, Santa. It's no trouble. It's not as if you're a burden or anything. I'm having a lot of fun with you, Koji. Don't worry. I didn't think you were. It's been nice to do something else for a change. I didn't think you were... What? Oh, whatever. Forget it. Well, I love what I do. I love making beautiful toys for children who deserve them. I love the food, the decorations, the presents. Everything about Christmas. But it's nice to do... Be doing something special for this year. Sorry, I just momentarily died. Uh, do you ever get lonely, Santa? Do I get lonely? Yeah, I mean, you're basically working by yourself in your workshop day after day. I know that you have the Claus family, but you don't see them until Christmas Day, do you? True, but it's my own choice to be alone. I need to learn to handle things by myself. I don't want my family to always be worried about me. So if I could prove to everyone that I can manage my own problems, then everyone will be happy. I can understand that. When I left home, I tried to make a big point of not relying on my parents. I immediately found myself a job and did my best with my studies. Both of us are striving to become our best self. That's right. I want to be a toy maker that my family can be proud of. Like the Mad Hatter. Uh, are they not proud of you right now? No, it's not like that. But, like you said, we have to strive to do our best. Christmas gets a little hard, a little bit harder every year. <coughs> ah. So the only thing I can do is try even harder every year. It's a huge burden to show that by yourself, don't you think? If you need help, you shouldn't hesitate to ask. I hope it will come to that. I want to try my best. You seem to be okay, so I'll be heading back to my workshop. I'll see you later, Koji. I open the door for her and she merrily skips out into the hall. Okay, so... We spent a lovely day with Santa Claus. And we intentionally made her do a loo thing for our own benefit of seeing it, but she wasn't too happy with it, so shame on us. Shame on you, Koji. Shame on you. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, from what I can tell from the guide, apparently we're going to be going back to the workshop in the next episode, so that'll be fun. So, I shall see you all next time for some more Sakura Santa, when we go to the workshop and continue on with Santa's story. So, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Good. Bye.